I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical forecast that we do just for YouTube. Have it crafted just for you folks who are all over the world checking in to see what's happening in the Atlantic Basin. So you don't have to be just here in Southeast Texas or in the Houston area where Fox 26 is located. We're going to make sure that you're prepared and get a good idea of what's happening uh, out in the Atlantic with what's happening across the tropics and able to dive in and talk about things just a little bit. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel Fox 26 Houston on YouTube, always encouraged to do that as well. And if, leave a comment if you'd like to as well, just sort of telling us uh, where you're ch chiming in from. It would be great to check in with you. The bottom line from the National Hurricane Center for the Atlantic Basin is that there is no tropical cyclone formation expected over the next seven days, and that is the way we like to see it. We like to hear that, and while if anything does begin to change somewhat, we're going to keep you updated on that. Now, the water temperatures are still very, very warm across all of the Atlantic, especially once you start getting in closer to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, into the Caribbean, uh, and even over in the western edges of the Atlantic. For this time of year, things are very warm. 85 degrees again, uh, just to south of the equator there. Uh, very warm temperatures for that part uh, of the Atlantic. And we'll continue to see uh, that sort of lock and stay in the place. It's not going to be a whole lot of changes on that. So we sort of focus on some certain areas at certain times of the year uh, where we think historically we can go back and look and see where these formations have been taking place. So when we look at July, historically speaking, the Gulf of Mexico is certainly one of those areas. Now, for the last, let's say, two weeks, we've really had some high pressure that's a bit unusual building in place. It's brought a lot of hot temperatures, a lack of rain for much of our Gulf Coast, and it's still even impacting portions of it. Not so much as much for the Houston area, but certainly uh, warm temperatures. Uh, that's helped to sort of keep anything from forming in the Gulf of Mexico. That next area that we keep an eye on is over in the Western Caribbean. Uh, certainly going to be a spot that's warm enough to produce something. And like in June, we're sort of looking at the Bahamas, but uh, a little bit further to the north as well, including a little bit more of that southeast coast of the US. And then we begin to look a little bit more out uh, into the Atlantic, um, maybe not way over into the eastern side of things. Again, this is historically where we would normally see things develop. We've already seen some activity out here in June, which is unusual. But in July, these are the spots that we'll continue to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, I happen to take a little family vacation for a little bit. And while I was gone, we put a couple more names on the board. So let me bring you up to speed in case you're kind of like me that got disconnected a little bit for a while. And that's in a good way sometimes, right? Uh, we added a couple more names of Brett and Cindy. That was the activity I was talking about out in the eastern portions of the Atlantic. So that next named storm that you'll be looking for is Don. Want to remind you, if you're not already following me on one of my other platforms, that would be great. I'm also here on YouTube, though, but it's a little different. Instead of searching John Dawson Fox 26, it's easiest on YouTube if you'll punch in meteorologist John Dawson. That's the best way to find me. And I've got all of my hurricane gear test uh, videos that are there helping to prepare you and give you ideas on how to be ready for hurricane season. We'll be back here again tomorrow, uh, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time with an update of what's happening in the tropics.